Why should one make meditation to a problem? We have got enough problems, human beings, hmm? both physically and psychologically. Why add another problem about meditation? You follow what I mean? Why give a human being one extra problem when he's got a thousand problems? So, is meditation a way of escaping from his problems and avoiding what actually is, and therefore it's no meditation at all? Or is meditation the understanding of the problem of living? Not avoiding it, of the daily living with all its problems. If that is not understood, if that is not put in order, I mean, I can go and sit in a corner and follow somebody who will teach me uh, transcendental or nonsensical meditation, and it will have no meaning at all. Right, sir? So what, what is it to you to meditate? What does it mean? I hope I haven't <laughs> made it too difficult for you to answer <coughs> this question, because I, I, I deny all that. To me, all that kind of meditation, of practice, of constantly repeating a word, hmm? as they do in India, as they do in Tibet, as they do all over the world, the Ave Maria or some other word, repeat, 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 it doesn't mean nothing. You make the mind more absurd and grotesque than it is. So, if I may, together, inquire into this question. Is it because it's a long established tradition that you must meditate, and therefore we meditate. I mean, a Brahmin boy, when I was a small boy, I vaguely remember that being a Brahmin, you went through a certain ceremony. <coughs> At that time, you were told to sit quiet, close your eyes, meditate. Think about you know, the whole thing was set going. So, if we could together examine and share what is meditation, what are the implications of it? Why should why should should one meditate at all? If it is a problem, you follow what I mean? If you make meditation to another problem, then for God's sake avoid it. You follow what I mean? Because uh, human beings have thousand problems. Why add another one more to it? So, could we, together, sharing, go into this, seeing the traditional approach, and seeing their absurdity? Because hmm? you see, sir, unless Man, human being, becomes a light to himself. Hmm? Nothing matters. Because if you are depending on somebody, then you are in a state of perpetual anxiety. So, 
So, could we examine this traditionally? First, what is, why should one meditate? Don't you think in the uh, <clears throat> living situation of a man that meditation happens as uh, part of a life situation? So, a human being has innumerable problems, right? He must solve those first, mustn't he? That is, the, uh, he must bring order in, in the house. In the house in which he lives, which is the house, which is the me. My thoughts, my feelings, my anxieties, my guilt, my sorrow, I must bring order there. Without that order, how can I proceed further? Well, the problem is that uh, if you try to solve the problem, if you look for order, then you're looking for, it doesn't seem to be uh, looking for further chaos. No, I'm not looking for order. I am inquiring that there is disorder. Hmm? That's right, yes. And I want to know why there is disorder. I'm not wanting to find order. Mm. Then I have all the gurus and all the, all the gang coming. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want order. I only want to find out why in one's life there is such chaos and disorder. Well, and I must find, a human being must find out, not ask somebody to tell him why there is disorder. Well, you can't find out intellectually. Uh, intellect is part of the whole structure. You can't deny the intellect. Well, but you can't use intellect to solve the intellectual problem. No, no. You can't solve the problem at any level except totally. Quite, yes. Mm. Now, that is, uh, to solve the human problem of disorder, hmm, does that need meditation? In the ordinary sense of the accepted word, meditation. I wouldn't say the ordinary, the conventional sense of meditation, but uh, the meditation in the extraordinary sense. Uh, what do you mean by that, if I may ask? Extraordinary sense of meditation is uh, um, trying to find, to see the disorder as a part of the direction. To see disorder? To see disorder as uh, order, if you like to call uh, it. No, no. Or to, to see the disorder as order? No, to see disorder. Well, if you see the disorder, then it becomes the order. At first, I must see. But to see it uh, clearly. But, so that depends then how you observe disorder. Not how to solve it. How to? Of course not. Because if you try to solve it, mm -hmm. you solve it according to a pattern set. Set pattern. Mm -hmm. Which is the outcome of your disorder. That's right. Which is the opposite of disorder. Mm -hmm. So if you try to solve the disorder, it is always according to a preconceived idea of order. Whether it's a Christian order, Hindu order, whatever order. Socialist order, communist, communist order. Whereas if you, mere, if you observed entirely what is disorder, hmm, then there is no duality in that. 